So how have you been? Good, man. How about yeah. yourself? Uh, fantastic. The end of the work day. Got some some stuff done, and uh, I'm excited to chat with you about some movies and catch up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. No, me too, for sure. Uh, it's been a bit since, I guess, we, it's been a little bit since we went live. I guess the last time was with Tom Devlin. Yeah. Uh, that was fun. Yeah, it was cool. We got to chat and uh, watch uh, his movie. Teddy told me to. Um, I just spoke to him today, actually. Um, I think when we were on there, we talked a little bit about him doing the. Uh, he's having that premiere at the Palms at the end of the month uh, for his new movie, um, The After Dark. So, I should be excited. Are you going to come with me to that? I mean, uh, are you going to be my plus one, or am I going to be your plus on one? one? TBD on that one. <laughs> All right. I'll let you know on that. I, uh, I'm going to have to see if I can make that. If I can make it out for that. All right. Well, we got your ticket if you want to come. Fantastic. Um, no. Uh, yeah, we're back on the creepy popcorn uh, live train here. So, um, no, it's good to be back on. I know we wanted to talk about a couple things, and uh, there's a couple things that we didn't talk about that I want to talk about also that will kind of tie into to today's little live. Um, but yeah, no, it'll be good. What, uh, is there anything on your mind that you've been wanting to chat about? Well, the major thing, yeah, no, I mean, other than that is like, uh, and I don't, I know you wanted to talk about a couple other things, so you can bring this back anytime you want. But in the past couple of weeks, I have discovered Ty West and I feel a little bit ashamed of that because I feel like I should have discovered Ty West a long time ago. Um, which I did with like, AB, I think he has ABC's a death segment and VHS segment. But for some reason in my brain, I had Ty West confused with another filmmaker or something. And so when I would hear about his movies coming out, or even when you kept talking to me about how much you liked um, the innkeepers, right. Mm-hmm. Um, I just was always like, yeah, you know, like I, I know his stuff. I just don't, I haven't really watched, you know, like I'll get to it. He's not my favorite director. Um, and so one night me and the wife are sitting there and I'm like, I, I read about, uh, Maxine coming out and, and I was like, you know, I really, I've been wanting to see, uh, X for a long time. I've been wanting to watch those movies a lot. And then when they made the sequel Pearl, I was like really excited about that. And so either way we sat down and we watched it, uh, the first one. And that was it. I was like, fuck, <laughs> I had to watch the second one. Then I reached out to you and I was like, dude, if you watch these, which and you watched them. And yeah. then I don't know, a week later, the trailer came out for Maxine. And I was like, man, this is yeah, kind of a crazy timing. I knew that they were going to do, I mean, at some point, I think when they announced that they were going to do three films, I think I was aware of that. But then I hadn't heard anything about the, I hadn't heard anything about Maxine for a while. And I think I might have just been out of the loop and just not been paying attention. But for a while, I was like, hey, maybe they're just going to do two. Maybe they're just going to do Pearl. And I still hadn't seen him. I, I saw them for the first time, both the films. Yeah, it was I guess it was last week. And um, so, yeah, it was a, a kind of crazy timing how Maxine trailer came out. Uh, I guess that, that trailer's been out, I guess, a week from today. So I guess I saw the yeah. films. Um, I saw X a couple weeks ago, then finally saw Pearl on Friday. So... But no, as far as going back to Ty West, and this is one of the things that I want to show you right here. I got my in- oh, nice my Innkeepers Blu-ray. So if you have not seen Innkeepers, letting you guys know that Innkeepers is actually I hate picking picking favorites for movies or music or anything, but if I had to pick a favorite horror film over in the past 10, 15 years, um, for me personally, it was it was Innkeepers. Um, and I don't actually don't have my uh, finger on the pulse on how that ranks in with Ty West's other films, but I watched, I remember watching, um, house of the devil on Netflix years ago. Like when it was like, just, I think the movie was just had come out. Netflix streaming wasn't like super old. I had watched, uh, the what was the director here you worked for the local old uh zombie ted, uh, Ast- ted michaels ted michaels was it astro zombies yeah yeah so i watched astro zombies on netflix and they had all these weird horror movies and but then they had house of the devil and 
I was just blown away. And this was, we have to look up the time, but House of the Devil, and it started, it kind of started the retro, or at least was one of the first films in the past decade, or it's been more than a decade now. It might have been 14 years now, but it, it brought in that retro feel of a very 70s horror. And, and uh, um, have, you, have you got a chance to watch that one yet? No, I now have to watch all his movies. Yeah, watch House like, of the Devil. I still have not seen the his VHS segment, um, and I know he had some shorts and some other horror anthologies I have not seen yet. But I've seen House of the Devil, seen Innkeepers, and now I've seen the, the two latest, um, uh, X and Pearl, which I also have on Blu-ray. Which I these are movies that uh, I'm a physical. That was one thing I was going to touch bases on was physical media. I I pay for enough streaming services so i could Love easily it. probably watch some on there I, yeah. I, w- I wanted to get the x slip case but i just didn't get a chance to find it i wanted to watch them. oh uh, nice so but i just they had the pearl i got these at zia records here in las vegas um yeah, if you're not from vegas and you make it out here zia records is a cool store to yeah they got buy Ari- cool stuff at uh arizona based company and they, i know they have a bunch in arizona and then I don't know if they have any in California or not, but definitely Arizona, Vegas. I can't remember uh, where else. Yeah. But they're a good. They have a lot of cool, uh, diverse um, horror films. They have all the basic stuff too, but they carry a lot of like the yeah. labels. Like they carry a lot of Vinegar Syndrome films yeah. and kind of a, um, the lower level distribution companies. That they'll definitely um, buy a handful of, of kind of more of the offbeat obscure type stuff but uh for for years the innkeepers was tough to get it was tough like it was very hard to find on blu-ray there's some blu-rays that are very very hard to find um it's it's not as bad now i feel like maybe but um i think dawn of the dead the first dawn of the the, the original dawn of the dead if you if you buy that on blu-ray i was broke like a few months ago but they had it at zia records they had it used at Zia Records for like forty-five dollars. Oh, wow. and so there were some licensing issues with that. Going off on a tangent, I ended up getting my ex Blu-ray, Pearl Blu-ray. Love the films, love the Innkeepers and House of the Devil, and uh, I think yeah, it's on your list now to to watch those two films. So we'll do a little follow-up on those on the previous. I'm de- two, but, yeah, definitely yeah. gonna watch them in the next week or two. So I guess just yeah, starting starting out at X. What did you uh? You know, what did you think? What were your expectations when you watched it? And what you... So, you know. I, I expected to like it. From the trailer, I, I uh, you know, I just thought it looked awesome. Like, I just thought it looked like fun. I loved, this. I loved that it was, like, 70s style. And I loved the premise. Sounded like a ton of fun. Um, but I expected it to be... And, and now, I just remembered. I remember who I get who I get Ty West confused with, and it's James Wan. And, uh, you know, some of James Wan's stuff doesn't really, like... I, I know he's got huge fans and I'm not saying he's a bad filmmaker. It's just not my thing. And like, right. I think his stuff is a little bit, some of it sometimes is a little bit more like kind of fun, which I like fun stuff. I don't know. But my point is, is that like when I saw X, that's what I was like thinking in my mind. I'm like, Oh cool. This would be like a, you know, like a slasher movie with some, you know, some kind of fun characters. I didn't think it was going to be as dark as it was. I mean, I think me and you talked about this, um, but I don't, and I think I even said I did, but I didn't. I, I didn't expect it to be as Texas Chainsaw Massacre as it was. Like it, it has a scary trailer, but it's like I just expected it to be more fun. So when I started watching it, and it was like kind of slow, and like these awesome characters, and like it was fun. I was like, "That's cool," uh, you know. So I, I really enjoyed watching it. Um, but also having said that, like towards the end, you know, when, and uh, spoiler, if you're watching this, you know, <laughs> there's going to be, there's going to be a lot of spoilers. So if you guys haven't seen these movies to tune out or, you know, I guess if you don't like spoilers. Yeah, yeah. Um, Come back and rewatch. We'll have this posted. Yeah. But the old lady, the, the ending and kind of even everything threw me off. Like I expected different things to happen. I expected it to be very religious based. Like they're getting killed because they're porn stars and because they're making this movie there. I didn't expect what, you know, and so that was a awesome, you know, like the little weird twist of who these people were and why they were killing them. But I kept getting thrown off uh, while I was watching it by Mia Goth in the makeup as an old woman. Like I was kind of like, okay, like I was expecting 
okay, there's going to be an answer to this. You know, like we're stuck right. in a time warp and that's actually her or that's her grandma or so like, I think on the first viewing, I kind of was like, I, I really, really liked it, but I, I was sidetracked by that. And I kept thinking, you know, they're going to, I'm going to get an answer to this. And I didn't. And so when I was done watching it, I, I, I liked it, but I was like, okay, that was really cool. And that was kind of, you know, like I thought it was really good, but it wasn't like super special to me, I guess. Okay. Um, but yeah. No, no, interesting. I, I, I was a Ty West fan before, so when I saw this trailer, first thing comes to mind: um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's, you know, it's very, it's it's very Texas Chainsaw um, as far as just kind of the vibe, especially the trailer. You know. Yeah. Um, and the time period. So it was just straight out of that era, the seventies. Um, and it's definitely an homage to that, to that time. Um, I was hyped from the start and this was, man, I don't know, two years ago when the film came out a little over two years ago Yeah. and just how my life goes. And as you guys will probably end up finding out it's, I don't make time to watch movies as I should. So this was always on my list and I was always trying to find someone to go with me to uh, X. And it's just tough nowadays. Sometimes it's like, some I think we talked about theaters. going and seeing it. You I know. remember when it came out, we talked about going to see it. And um, so I was really, really stoked when this one came out. And then, man, it just seemed like it was so fast. Pearl was already out. Pearl and Pearl comes out as a prequel. And so I was like, okay, well, there's that character, I guess. I was thinking it was a sequel. I didn't. I think I watched the trailer one time, and then I ended up. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna watch it anymore. I was like, whoever this girl is is a survivor. I was thinking Pearl was like, the that character was in here, in X. But uh, as far as like, you know, just a she survived basically, or the killer. Right. Um, didn't realize it was a prequel. I don't know when I realized that, but uh, you know, one of the when I ended up watching them both, loved X. And Pearl, for me, um, I think being, I, this is another conversation for another day, but A24 films, too. Like, there's a yeah. lot of, there's a very specific type of brand. And so when you got films under that label um, or that production company, um, you kind of expect certain things. You know, it's a little highbrow. And that was the interesting thing with X when it was like, it's a little highbrow horror, but then when X and knowing Ty West's other films, I was like, man, this is awesome that that they were able to like, you know, because he does deserve the respect and the the yeah. you know, he is on that level for sure. So I kind of knew it wasn't just going to be the typical slasher. There was something else that I was kind of kind of like, I was like, yeah, it's, it's. I didn't know what it was, but um, and when I watched it, it met every expectation and and beyond for me. Um, I loved it, definitely loved X, and then watching Pearl and lead it going to that is like I said, I think at some point I realized it was a prequel. Um, but going straight to the point, Pearl blew me away. Pearl is an amazing movie. Right. Uh, X is X can stand alone on its own. Both the films can stand alone. They def obviously work as, yeah. you know, a part of this now trilogy. Um, but not necessarily like the, the format's great. It's not X part two, you know, the yeah. Pearl story, you know, it's, you can hand someone this movie and say, here you go, watch this. And you really, you know, you really don't have to watch X. You could watch it after. I'm curious to see if there's anybody, um, we can open this conversation up at some point, uh, for next time or something or chime in or email us or whatever. But I'm curious to see the people who've watched X after Pearl, you know, I'd like to see. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good point because right when you mentioned that when you started to go down that road i was thinking in my brain fast because i know that i already we, we talked about this a little bit but it's like when i said that x wasn't like super special to me it really wasn't but it lived in my head until i watched pearl like i kept like again going back to a24 i love a24 movies um what they have is like this element of weird but it works I mean, they have ones that maybe don't quite hit. And that's what, like, at, at first I was like, I don't know. Did that have that element of weird but didn't quite work? Or was it really cool? You know, like, because, again, I loved all the characters. I loved the style. I loved, I really didn't have, like, anything I didn't like about it. I just was like, I don't know. And, uh, 
but I was very excited to see Pearl. Like I was like, I want to see what, you know, Pearl is. And I did know it was a prequel. And, um, and so then when I, I we went in and went and we watched Pearl and I see like that, he's, you know, really, really embracing the style of the time period again. Now for this movie, it's like, it's just so much fun, you know, from the get go. And, uh, but weird and scary and you know and like either way the point is is i've never in my life uh you know I, there's times where you see sequels where you're like oh i like the sequel better than the original and i think that's not that often um obviously i'm not saying anything original there but like as i was watching that movie as i'm watching pearl i loved every second of pearl but i also was loving x more every second that i watched of pearl like right. it was going back in my head and i'm thinking about everything and i'm imagining that oh this is that young you know that woman when she's young and even some of the lines by like the uh the old man her you know her husband about like you know when he's talking about like you know his wife and different things you, you start to get what's going on um she says a lot in the first that it's like I don't know. It just for somehow I've never, I've never had this experience before. And, you know, also maybe it helped that I watched them a day apart or whatever too, but like, it just anything that I was like, not in love with about X, I was in love with again. And I immediately was like, I fucking love X too. And like these two pieces. Um, and I, I think Pearl's amazing. And I think X is amazing. And it was just like, it was this fun thing. And that's why, like, I think as soon as I got done watching them, I was like, I had to talk to you about it. Cause I was like, have you seen these? Cause it was just, a unique experience and Ty West and, and Mia Goth and like, I mean, everyone in those movies are so great. Like they're perfectly cast the characters are perfect in, in every way they're supposed to be. Um, and I just, I loved it. Um, but to your point real quick, unless you talk was that like, I don't know. I'm curious how I would feel if I saw Pearl first and then X, I don't, you know, I don't know. Maybe it would feel the exact same way, but I also could imagine like, it's a whole different experience. Like it's really, yeah, it is different interesting. Experience. You almost don't. About. If yeah, exactly. Because if you watch Pearl and you're like, that's one thing I think I'll note with this, with the actual being sequels or you know part of this, it is a sequel, but as a prequel, you know, it's the, uh, you know, I guess yeah. So it's part of this universe here, um, but it's the fact that it's such a different time period. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's like. Um, it's less of a sequel than even what Godfather two is to Godfather one, you yeah. know, at least Godfather, like Godfather two still has a storyline that, that goes, you know, right afterwards. And it's, um, but there is this whole, you know, look back flashback type of half the film is, is, uh, is a pre storyline. So it's a sequel in the universe, but in a way it's like, like I say, I think both these films can stand alone and they do stand watch, alone. Very if you watch Pearl good. first, yeah, you don't know the ending. You have no idea if she's going to live in, in this, in, in the movie. So, well, and that's, sorry, except that's kind of like the thing that I'm curious about is like, if I watched Pearl and I only watched Pearl and then two years later, they're like, Oh, we're making a sequel called X. I don't think, I think that when I watched X, I would be like, Oh, that's cool. But like you just made up a I different right. character yeah. that was I supposed think... to exist, you know, like that doesn't quite add up, you know, like I would just, I think I would just be like, eh, I probably wouldn't like it. If I'm being honest, I think I probably wouldn't like it. Um, but I love it the other way. And, you know, I, I'm sure there are people who are going to watch it that way. And I'm, I am curious to hear more from people. So if you are watching this, you know, and you, and you happen to be one of those people or just even whatever. I definitely would love to uh, read your guys' opinions and hear what you think. Yeah. Because throw in the comments for it's, sure. Uh, yeah. It's a, uh, it's not live right now, but yeah, it's, it's something that's really interesting to think about. And I, and I do. Yeah. I don't know. It, it, it's, I guess even it's not the same, but it's like, even how like the generation before us now or above us, I don't know, like my nephew and stuff, you know, their first star Wars movie would, would have been episode one, you know, like, and I know it's like, you know, Kids I grew up with those three films with episode yeah, with one, two, first... and three. Those were their favorite star. And it's, I, I've talked to many people and, um, who said, yeah, those are the movies I, we grew up on. Those were the, like, you know, they remember Hayden Christensen. I think it's why nowadays he gets such praise yeah. from the audiences when he goes to these conventions is like, you know, uh, going sidetrack here, but yes, <laughs> no, yeah, and it's like, and that's a thing. It's funny because as much I'm a 
a massive i'm wearing a star wars shirt now but i'm a huge star wars fan love everything about it and i don't think i really consider that enough or think about that enough is how um people knew anakin before they knew darth vader like there's 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 grown-ups right now in their 20s and maybe even close to 30 who like knew anakin as the little boy before he was darth vader even though their dads or their uncles were like that's darth vader and here's a toy and or here um there's some people that literally didn't watch the star wars trilogy before they watched you know the prequels and right you know that's a whole different experience and i don't know that it relates that much to the conversation we're having about watching pearl uh because only like i said i do think i do think if pearl came first to me to me i think that what would have happened and it would have had to have been a different film x would have had to have been a different film that um gave you more of pearl you know, you would have had, like, she would have had to have been, she would have had to have uh, 20, 30% more screen time because we already have known she was kind of a It would have been a more of a traditional sequel to, to yeah, make yeah, it work. Yeah. 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 There were sure so would many. Have done that. Yeah. And I think I'd watched, uh, I was saying earlier, I was to you this week, is that I'd watched a few minutes of the special features on these DVDs or Blu rays, and I haven't got a chance to watch them all yet. But from what I gather on the Blu rays, and uh, could be wrong about this, but the Pearl. Um, the inception of Pearl didn't come prior to the making of X, yeah. um, at least. So, and it wasn't necessarily an afterthought, but it kind of um, it kind of came out of X, as far as creating these characters. Um, so, in a weird way, the universe it kind of worked out in, in in its favor. And there's so many little callbacks to X in Pearl, um, just little little stuff. You know, at the very end of the credits. The very very end of the credits you start to hear the x soundtrack come in you know and then it's like the little dun, dun, like so it's like oh you, you you go into this story that you know of and it makes you want to go back and watch x again because you're like you know it's it's a really cool thing you like you watch x you watch pearl then it's like oh i want to go back and watch x now yeah and yeah then, you know um but the uh there you know there's little little things there's a there's one little shot i wanted to say in there is that when she goes to audition at the very end she um, is on stage and it cuts to an overhead shot and then there's a white mark on the stage it's a it's a white x Solid. just little subtle yeah, stuff yeah. like that which is like film. you know appropriate but also you're like ah that's uh, you know it's they didn't go like oh i didn't realize put, that, that there's an x there like you know it's and it's awesome like it's not forced and it's again appropriate uh but it's i got the same thing when i was like oh there's an x like i was like overly excited for you know a spot on the ground <laughs> which would be her. i'm just looking at the back of this blu-ray cover man and, and look at the picture of her in the scarecrow the scare yeah, the sca little scarecrow dance. dance and that's the thing i want to talk a little bit more too about like ty west it's like i um you know i i love movies in general we love movies in general but it's like i always love when i can find like a director because like you know the world has changed a little bit and i'm not saying that this doesn't exist it does but it's like when we were younger um you know like i just feel like the way that movies put the movie theaters pushed movies to us you know and because a director had to be really solid to get to get to another one and another one you know you found your way to like eli roth and you know the different like really solid filmmakers um and i as much as i love horror i'm always watching something else and i got a kid now and it's like but i like I, i'm a huge uh jordan peele fan like any, like his movies i love his movies so much and i can't wait till his next one comes out and so it was like exciting for me to uh, you know there's not that many new directors on my list i'm learning uh, you know i'm catching up but like i i can't wait to watch anything ty west does now like i i can tell like his stuff is going to be you know stuff that i enjoy regardless of its scale of one to ten you know in his catalog so right yeah yeah maxine looks good um should we pop the trailer on for Maxine real quick? Yeah, let's do it. Right, I got that uploaded. So um, let's watch the trailer. And So, Maxine, your agent tells us you're quite a popular name in adult film and entertainment. Is that correct? Addresses the lens directly. Oops. Apologies, hold on. Sorry, we've had a little. It was. I'd like to call it a technical difficulty, but it was just Mike hitting the wrong buttons. Um, so let's play that again. So oh, I'm gonna be honest. Maxine, your agent tells us you're quite a popular name in adult film and entertainment. Is that correct? I'm 
curious, did you always want to be in that line of work? I always wanted to be famous. If you need to read off the sides we gave you, just go ahead, all right? I know the lines. She turns to the camera and, through her trauma, addresses the lens directly. Name five celebrities who got their start in horror movies. Jamie Lee Curtis, John Travolta, Demi Moore, Brooke Shields, and... Maxine fucking Minx. I don't like walking out here with that freaking Night Stalker guy in the loose. The Night Stalker. Night Stalker. Night Stalker. He's terrorizing Los Angeles. I can handle myself. So said every third girl in Hollywood. Maxine, I'm the private detective. I had to find you. My employer is a very powerful man. The past ain't finished with you. It's gonna keep knocking at your door. Tragically, another victim of the Night Stalker. I knew three people who were murdered in three days. I'd be pretty scared. What are you hiding, Maxine? If I tell you something, we've got confidentiality. What'd you do? This is the defining role of your career. What was going on in your life that's interfering with this picture? Squash it. I intend to. Maxine! 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 Maxine. You're a fucking movie star. God. Bravo. Dang it, man. Like I, I also feel like that's almost a perfect trailer. Like when I watch that trailer, uh, um, like and I've watched it a few times now, but it's like I it's filled with so much exciting stuff. It looks amazing. I mean the song it, everything about it looks like amazing. It gives away almost nothing to me. You know, like it's like it, I only have more questions. Like I, I don't really know where Maxine is going. I know that it's you know, she's off she gets to get into movies now, but the fact that they're throwing like uh, you know, true crime serial killers into this, and then like, you know, you see the old house and like and then all of a sudden I remember because I've you know, like I'm like, oh shit, like they're the old the, what's her name's dead, you know, Pearl's head got popped, but the old guy, I don't know that he's dead. Did he die? Oh, the uh, Pearl's husband. Yeah, yeah. He he. Uh... He also died. Yeah. So either way, yeah, because yeah. I forgot. I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah. But uh, what you know? The, the point is, is like, what's who's at that house? You know, the guy's like, I have a very you know, like uh, wealthy person. You're like, who's looking for her? You know, it's not just the cops. It's just like, and I know that's what I love so much, and I'm so excited about Ty West is like, it's gonna be full of surprises, like as obvious as you think it's supposed to be. It's like, oh, she goes to Hollywood and she's gonna, you know, That's be crazy. It reminds me, and it's more. This is more of a recent comparison, and I know the product that he's gonna make is gonna be great, but there's there's some definitely elements of uh, American Horror Story, 1984, in in there with mixing some of the footage, Night Stalkers being a, being a character in the story. Yeah, but the fact that you can make that movie and be confident and say. Fuck it, I don't care if American Horror Story had took yep. place one year before and it had, you know, cut it, you know, the the title sequence for that series kind of very similar in, in, in some of the footage. But uh, you, you just know that, you know, it's like it's going to deliver as far as like the, the, you know, it's a film it's a, yeah. and, and not a series. But um, yeah, I'm excited for it. There's the three different movies that look completely different, have yeah. a completely different feel. But with a great, you know, decade long, uh, decades long intertwining of a story, yeah, um, and what they call an epic. You know, it's an epic film. It is like it's like I don't know that you get too many epic horror trilogies the way that like this one is going to play out. Like I think that, sure. and to be honest with you, like when I saw, I was super excited about X. Like I said, just because of the trailer and I thought it was going to, like, I just thought it looked like something I was going to love. When they announced Pearl, I was kind of like, uh, and to be honest, that might be what held me off from seeing X. Is like, I was kind of like, okay, you know, X did good. So you're going to just make a, 
you know, hoped a, a, a sequel. It did, you know, like I was being a snob, which is not my normal reactions, but it's like, I was like, oh, it's going to be a fast, like, you know, way to grab some more money and make something that's less good. And uh, it's not like, it's so goddamn good. And like, and that was back to the Pearl thing is like, Pearl is incredible. Mia Goth, that playing that character, it's so it's so three dimensional and so incredible that like she's terrifying. You feel so sorry for her, um, and it never. And that's Ty West and like his, you know, filmmaking and, and directing and writing whatever is like the way that he like just presents that character. So it, it feels so authentic. It doesn't feel like a movie character 100%. ever. I read some. Uh, I read an article after we we had chatted that one day, and there was. When I watched that last monologue scene at the very end, I was like thinking to myself, I was like literally I was like, she should have been nominated for an Oscar. And then yeah. I read some articles and there was a bunch of people saying that um I wasn't the only one obviously that, that thought that, but uh it's a Oscar worthy performance like by far. It is it is you know, it's funny, we a lot of our tastes, a lot of the stuff we watch, I man, we watch you know, it, we've seen it all from yeah. the bottom of the barrel, which is awesome. It's it's very fun to to play in the mud and 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 to watch those you know the, the yeah. crappy B horror films and C and D horror films, and then watching these great ones. And this one was um, a piece of art. It really was. It was just yeah. a, it was a really good piece. So, wrapping it up. Do you want to uh, anything you're looking forward to? Any new movies you're looking forward to? Just Maxine. No, I'm just That's true. Yeah, Maxine. So we'll... um, one thing I will plug real quick tomorrow, um, we're premiering on the channel Phenomena. Phenomena. That was the one I sent you the link to the other day. And that is, um, has Jennifer Connelly, Donald Pleasance. Um, so I, I haven't seen it. When I got the, when I got it on my list and was a license, I was really excited to get it. And so uh, that I'm excited about for now. Um, and I'm sure there's others, but what, what about you? Uh, there, I, I've been wanting to watch the first Omen, which is, I hopefully might still be out in the theaters. I'm not quite sure. Um, that's one of the films that it, there was, I saw a bunch of trailers. I went to Immaculate, an amazing film. And, uh, that was awesome. Sydney Sweeney was amazing in that. I need to and, go check that out. Um, but there's a few, I'm looking at this little list here. Some of the, some of the upcoming ones are ones that come out this year. Late night with the devil. Um, oh that one i'm really excited about i forgot yeah. about that because it's so, that it looks was, so weird <laughs> you know that hit theaters march 22nd but it is streaming april 19th so four days it'll be um i think it's a shutter i think it's a shut it'll be on shutter I, I could be mistaken i think so um yeah there's a, another movie called tarot i'm actually interested in it comes out in may um but yeah there's a there's a lot of good stuff coming out so as far as us and this channel, I'm definitely uh, excited for some of these other releases. Excited for tomorrow. And, um, yeah, if you guys have any comments regarding any Ty West's movies, X, Pearl, uh, Innkeepers. I want to talk about the Innkeepers one day. We should we should talk about that. I, I, we'll circle back. I'll watch both of those and watch those, both those films and we'll talk early Ty West. We'll do a little Ty West thing. And then if you got out there, if you guys, you know, I'm going to slowly start pushing this a little bit here and there, but you know, if you guys can embrace some physical media here and there, even if it's your favorite top three horror movies, go buy them and just, you know, hold on to them. Um, they're special to, you know, special uh, you, to have. You on got me back into it again. So it's uh, and I agree with you, man. It's like, I, I lived with physical media forever. I had, th I had, I think 2000 DVDs and Blu-rays. I had mostly DVDs when I was still, I used to add some VHSs, and then I finally was like, "Man, you know, with the new streaming world that exists, I guess I'll." I literally would, I would literally pay to watch a movie that I had somewhere on my shelf, but I just didn't want to get out of bed or off the couch, right. and so then I got rid of most of it. Um, but recently, I'm like, I gotta get this shit back. <laughs> like, I miss it so much, and I bought in. I don't know. Shout Factory or Scream Factory got a bunch of my money not long ago, and I'm gonna keep buying them. So, heck yeah, I agree. Like, let's get back to collecting them. All right. Them. So, 
Well, it was nice chatting. Good chatting. Uh, thanks for those of you guys that tuned in. And, uh, yeah, let us know um, your thoughts. Yeah, if you guys uh, rewatch this, definitely add some stuff in the comments, and uh, we'll get you on there. And we will jo join us on our next live or re watch the replay. And uh, thank you guys for joining Creepy Popcorn. I'm Justin. <laughs>